today I'm here with an empties video. Yay! So, turtles, awesome. Um, I have a variety of things. I'm going to try to separate them by what they actually are. Um, I have some makeup, some edible things, and some skincare too, I believe. So let me see what I have. This is the box I have. It's not sponsored or anything like that. I don't know if you can have a sponsored empties video. I'm sure you can, but whatever. Okay. I'm going to start with some shampoo samples that I got. So um, this is macadamia oil, and I included the, uh, sh this is the conditioner. I had the <clears throat> shampoo in my last empties video, and this stuff is so good. It smells like just so good. I can't even describe it, but it smells delicious. And this is by the brand Hask. And this is moisturizing shampoo and conditioner set that I got. And then I have um, mint almond oil, the same brand, Hask. And this is the thickening shampoo and conditioner. These are amazing. They smell like mint, obviously. But it's not like an overwhelmingly strong mint. It's just like enough to be minty but not um like oh i can't stand this it's so minty and it's not like a strong mint so definitely liked all three of those products and digging in this is actually an edible item so here we go uh this is from mayhe brand i don't know if that's right this is the hello panda they are chocolate cream filled cookies. That's what they look like. I think they're adorable. These are the same kind of thing as I had in my last empties video with the little strawberry sticks. And here's the bag that they actually come in. So they're in this bag, in this box. Adorable, I think. The little panda in front is so cute. And then there's more on the side and on this side. So they have a cute little panda detail on them. Just really adorable little snack, you know, not enough to get that chocolate craving out of the way, but not too, too much. e -boost. The next thing, I don't know if you guys know about this, but it is an energy and immunity booster, and you mix this with 12 ounces of water, and you can use it uh, before your workouts, or you can use it any time of day when you need a pick-me-up. I just like it, you know, mid-afternoon or something, even in the mornings. Instead of orange juice, I've been drinking this. And a great way to start out gives you a little bit of injury, but not, like, overwhelming to where you're going to get a headache because you've had too much uh, caffeine. There is some caffeine in here, but... It has things like green tea extract, green coffee extract, and, you know, some good stuff. It's sweetened with stevia. I like that. So it's good for you, but also gives you a little bit of energy. I like to use it when I'm getting sick because I feel like it's like, okay, I'm drinking orange and this is benefiting me. And it does seem to help me a lot. And along the same lines, uh, this is an emergency packet, which is a vitamin C supplement, and this is in raspberry. So just like to use this, you mix this with four to six ounces of water, nothing huge, you know, you can have it as a any time of day drink, really. It's, these are all, what I'm about to show you, these are, and the e-boost is all, um, like a fizzy kind of drink. So you pour it in your water, let it like foam up, and then drink it. The raspberry flavor isn't my favorite, but it was good. And the next two things are by the emergency brand, but they are emergency. And it's a nighttime sleep aid with melatonin. There is a berry flavor and a peach flavor. I really love both flavors that I've tried. I'm not sure they might have another flavor, but like I said, not sure. I really like both of these though, and I swear by these. I've had a lot of trouble sleeping within the last like six months, and they've been helping me out so much. Like, I can't even tell you how good 
I sleep when I take those. Like I can't sleep if I don't take them. That's how, you know, so get some melatonin and have a good night's sleep with some emergency. And then I have Angie's brand Boom Chicka Pop Popcorn in the sweet and salty kettle corn flavor. This stuff is delicious. It's sweet, but it's not like overwhelmingly sweet. And it's just nice snack in the afternoon. This is a lot of different stuff. See all the little things on the back. This is kosher. It's vegan, cholesterol free, whole grain, gluten free, trans fat free, non GMO. And it says always real. So a lot of healthy benefits from that. So not a bad snack if you want some popcorn. And the next thing I have, not so healthy, but a delicious snack. This is Planner's S'more and Nut Mix. It's a limited edition, so I'm not sure if it's still available out there. And you can see I got this bag for 99 cents from a discount store uh, near my house, so delicious. It, it was good till um, Christmas Eve, but as you can see, it didn't last that long because I like it. It's got peanuts, uh, like chocolate covered almonds. Not chocolate covered, it's like a chocolate uh, dusting and graham cracker pieces and little tiny mini marshmallows, so all delicious. Then I have some tea here. I like to drink a cup of tea every morning while I'm getting ready and putting my makeup on, so I have a lot of different flavors. I recently just bought a sampler packet, so these are from Bigelow brand and this is the lemon lift which it says it just has a natural lemon flavor uh, and spice in that and it says a distinctive blend with just the right amount of lemon and a dash of spice this one is constant comment and it's our first and most famous blend flavored with secret recipe of orange rind and sweet spice this is really really good it's not as strong as a orange tea, but it's it's really good. Love that. This is the French vanilla. This is a classic combination of creamy vanilla and bold black tea. These are all decaf because I do have acid reflux and can't have caffeine. So if you're a decaf drinker, there is some flavored decaf stuff out there. It's so hard to find coffee or anything that's flavored. Uh, it's so frustrating. And this is the English Tea Time, a full-bodied, rich, smooth tea, perfect for any time of day. The next thing I have is, uh, along the same lines, it's Celestial Brand Tea. And this is the apple spice, cinnamon apple spice, sorry. It looks like this. It's a new look uh, box. It used to have, like, bears and stuff on it, but, yeah, this stuff is so amazing. And I actually have, like, two left. So I'll show you that. It comes in a bag inside to keep the tea fresh. And these bags don't have strings on them. So you will have to use like a spoon. And it comes like this in a two pack. And then you just rip it down the middle for one. Or if you have a larger uh, serving, then you can leave them, you know, attached and put them in a cup. And I love that stuff. I had that cinnamon it has a lot of cinnamon in it so if you don't like cinnamon that's probably not the best one for you but i had those in a little ziploc bag in my mom's office and i would go visit her and have a cup of tea in the winter time and i walked in her office one day after i first took them in there and i was like oh my gosh it smells like cinnamon potpourri it's so good in here and she said i don't know what that is but i smell that too and i said I know what that is. So if you do leave it in a Ziploc bag, it will freshen your whole house. So be wary of that. But I mean, I just love that tea. I could use box after box after box. And I also had a Celestial brand um, caramel apple tea. That was really good too. But I don't have the box for it because I threw it out. And then I was like, oh, I should have kept it for that. Okay, mm -hmm. moving right along. One more food item I did find was this Copaco cappuccino and it says mini coffee I don't know if Copaco is the brand it says product of Singapore I believe is what I saw on it one day I don't know but anyways 
I got these from somebody I know and they're delicious. They taste exactly like coffee. So if you find these somewhere, let me know where you can get those and these are non-edible items at this point. So we have one thing that I swear by, and if you've never tried this or never heard of it, please take my advice and try this. So this is called KT Tape, and it's Kinesiology uh, Therapeutic Tape. And it's this one is in pink. And I actually do have one strip, but this is um, 14 pre-cut strips. And I got this for $7.99 at Marshalls, but if you, you can buy that at Walmart, Target, Dick's Sporting Goods, um, any of those kind of places. And what it is, it comes with a little how to this, guide also. and it shows you the different parts of the body and where you could use the tape. And then on the back, it has step-by-step -step guides of exactly how to place it on the areas where you have the most trouble. It comes on a, a little ring like this. And this is the tape, it's just wrapped up and you unwrap it. So this is one full piece here, and it says KT on the front. On the back, it has this, and then you just peel that off and stick the tape to you. Now this is for sports injuries. So this is used to prevent sports injuries as well as to help recover from sports injuries. I like to use it for anything in the gym or running. I use it all the time and I used to be prone to shin splints and then so this is supposed to promote circulation through your areas of concern so if you get calf cramps a lot that's another way I like to use it because I am a runner I like to prevent those kinds of injuries and I know where I'm injury prone so I'll put the tape on and I same thing with the calf you split it and then it's supposed to help prevent um, injury and promote circulation through those areas. So if I know that it's an area of concern for me, I will use that. I have a lot of lower back issues and I like to lift weights at the gym, but doing things like squats, deadlifts, um, lunges, those all put pressure on my lower back. So I put this tape on and then work out, no problems. So give it a try if you want. It's relatively cheap. I think it runs about 10 bucks at Walmart. Uh, there, this is the original kind. There is a professional kind, which is just kind of made of like a sim synthetic uh, material, and it's supposed to be waterproof for longer. So the original lasts like one to two days. The professional lasts like three. Days. I have a couple soap thingies. One thing I do not have is I used up the soap called Psychic from Witch Baby Soaps. And she, the lady that makes them, she makes everything at her house and then sends them out when orders come through. I met her in person at like a little um, convention that I go to. And she was there for the first time like two or three years ago. And she made... She had all kinds of different soaps, and this was a horror convention, so she had a lot of things that had, like, blood and guts and pictures of, like, a lot of things from, from a lot of different horror movies. She has one with a Ouija board on it, whatever. So, um, the, her soaps, though, are all scented, and they're different things. They have different names, but she wraps them in, um, at least in person, she wraps them in, like, a saran wrap and puts a sticker of what it is on it, and... On the website, you can see what scents go into each uh, soap. And so I don't have the actual sticker from that, but I did use that. The Muddy Moose Bath Boutique, and this was in cinnamon sugar, and it's goat milk soap. That This was a guest soap size, so as you can see, the box is not really that big. And... I, I bought this because I needed a couple small soaps for the bathroom, but I didn't want anything too big because I did have a lot of other soaps here, but I like her soaps. Very nourishing. Never dry out my hands or anything like that. So very, um, very nice. And the smell is delicious. And I'll put the information up for all of those. It's a soap bar. 
from the Arcane Bunny Society. And this is called Boulder Hill. Boulder Hill. So this one is, well, these are all 100% vegan. And these are not tested on animals. Any of the products, the soap products I showed you. And um, these are also handmade. And then this one, they have like cute little phrases on each one. So this one says, smelling bad should not be your ultimate weapon. And then it's made with alchemic mastery and they have a website where you can see everything she uses things such like olive oil avocado oil almond oil castor oil sugar and salt oatmeal is in this one a fragrance and a colorant and this one smells like soda or pop wherever you're from it's kind of like a coca-cola kind of scent so i like that i thought it was cute and I love the scent from it, but they are like bigger square, uh, probably like that. Um, this super size bottle of Brazilians from Tarte. This was a sad day for me because I love this. It's my only self tanner I've been using at the moment. I know that Tarte is cruelty free. This is amazing. I talked about this in my October favorites video. It has a bronzer in it and I just love it so if you didn't check out my October favorites you can see more information there but know that I'm very sad that I'm done with this because the only size I have available currently is the regular size which is $39 but it's like only comes up to like here so kind of sad because I use it all the time and now I don't have any so I gotta go out and buy some more and then the next thing I have is this Tom's of Maine Fresh Apricot Deodorant. I had this on my October Favorites also. Great deodorant, smells great, cruelty free, all that jazz. Not going to spend a lot of time on deodorant. Another October Favorite was this Spirit by Antonio Banderas. As you can see, there's a little bit in there, but it won't really come out. So Snail Polish by Sally Hansen. It's Complete Salon Manicure, and this is in the shade Midnight in New York. And it's a black nail polish. It has like finely, fine glitters in it. I think you can see that. I didn't like this only because I found it hard, and maybe it's just me, but I found it hard to apply an even application. So I had one coat of black, but then you know how when you do darker uh, fingernail polish, you get that like white streak that you can see your fingernail in so it's so frustrating so I'm like okay second coat no problem put the second coat on same thing and it was like stripping the color and you could see still see my nail so instead of like you know how this is covers my entire nail I was getting this streakiness with it and I couldn't get an even application so I could see my fingernails through it the whole time and not the look I'm going for when I'm using black nail polish. I thought it was cute because it had some glitter in it. Was it this black? is Lorax Poreffection Mattifying Face Primer, which is oil, paraben, and fragrance free. This was like a silicone type of uh, primer. It doesn't say, okay, it's a silica. Yeah, this was okay if you like the pore you know, covering things, primers, <laughs> but not a huge fan slash, I don't know if cruelty freeze because the market's out on Lorac because, or Lorac, you know, whatever, whatever. But on PETA's website, they're not listed. However, they have emailed people and said that quote unquote, none of our finished products are tested on animals. So in my mind, I hear none of our finished products are tested on animals. That to me, I wrote them off my list because I don't know for a fact whether that means the ingredients plus the finished product and everything included or just the finished product. And I don't want to take the chance. So if anybody knows, or they could just pay the PETA price to put the little cruelty free sticker on the back. It looks like this. If you don't know this little bunny here, 
A lot of brands have it. Tarte has it. Too Faced has it. Same thing with this next um, product. Benefit, Pore Professional. This is okay. I know people love it, but I'm never buying this because Benefit's not cruelty free. They have some of the cutest packaging out there, but not cruelty free, so no interest here. And then I have this sample of Born This Way foundation from Too Faced, and this was in the color Sand. You know, you can see on the back that that's what it was. This I liked. It was too dark for my skin tone. I probably would try this foundation, but not in this color, and it left my skin a little greasy. And I did set it with powder, but I don't have overly greasy skin, so that was kind of like a little bit of a turnoff. If you have greasy skin, it's probably not the best uh, foundation for you. And then I have this Urban Decay Original Primer Potion sample. And then this is what the shade looks like. You know, it says it's nude, but it dries invisible. So I really like this. Definitely get this in the future. I like this and Eden I've tried, and I really liked it too, especially for some darker colors. It's nice to have a little bit of a color underneath it. And we're getting to the end, people. You can see the end. Uh, I have this Sugar Rosé Tinted Lip Treatment SPF 15 from Fresh Brand. This was a sample for the birthday a couple of years ago. I actually have two of these. And you can see that I have a decent amount of product left. If I open it for you, here's the one. And then I do have the other one. I don't know if I ever used it. Yeah, I did. It's about the same amount. So I didn't use a whole lot of it. I don't like this. I don't like this. First of all, I don't know if Fresh is cruelty free. Did I look that up? I don't think I did. But this, I didn't like the tint of color to it. I thought it looked like too much. Um, I don't like the smell of it, the rose smell, not interested. I don't really like the smell of roses, so I didn't like that. And it was too greasy to wear like during the day, I thought. So getting rid of those, purging my stash. And then I have this Jerlique Skin Balancing Face Oil. It's a deeply moisturizing treatment oil. And it says it has a bunch of stuff like shea butter and macadamia oil, avocado oil, rose hip, a bunch of stuff, and rose water. It's just, it's okay. I didn't look up whether this was cruelty free or not. And I'll, I'll post it in the box below, but I used this last night. It's an okay oil. I've used better oils in my day. I like Josie Marin's Argan Oil. I like Tarte's Maracuja Oil. But that, the smell of it, I don't know if it was the rose smell or what, but something I didn't like about that. And it reminded me of the way my grandma smells. Like, if I walked into her house and that smell was there, I would think it was normal. So I don't really need to smell like an 80-year-old lady. Maybe you like the smell of roses, so it'd be great for you. But for me, not so much. And then these are the products that I like. I have this little tiny, uh, two, no, this is Tarte. <laughs> I have this little tiny Tarte eyeliner. I'm not sure what color this was. I got this in a holiday set. It had about 12 liners, I think. There's the color of the product, so it's like between a chocolate brown and a bronze. It has some golden shimmers in it. Very, very pretty. Used it every day. It's just to the point now where it's too hard to like line my eyes with that. It's a little bit too close to the lash line and it's just, I have other eyeliners so I figured whatever, we'll just toss it. And this is Pure Minerals Correcting Primer Pep Prep and Perfect. And I love this. The scent has a little bit of a rosiness to it, which, mm, you know how I feel about the roses, so this was a little strong, so if you're sensitive to scents, maybe, not for you, but this I got, and it looks like there's product in there, but I pumped and pumped and pumped and still can't get anything out. This is, um, not really 
as silicone-y as the other two I showed you, but this has a little bit more of that than just a, like a moisturizer kind of primer. So I like it. I'd probably give it a try again in the future. Just the scent can be a little bit strong, especially this summer when I was dealing with allergies. It was really getting to me, but I, I do like it. So give that, you know, like a three out of five stars. I'd try it again, but I didn't necessarily love, love it. And then this was like another sad day for me because this is Too Faced Perfect Eye Waterproof Liner in Perfect Black. And on one end, it has the smudger. And then on the other end, it has your liner. And then you just, you know, resharpen it to use it. Well, this ended up like their Better Than Sex Mascara for me. And I'm allergic to it. So... When I used it, I had the same kind of line, like I typically do the little wing, and it looked exactly like it does today. In that actual spot, when I took it off, there was redness in a line, like I had a line and a wing of redness and swollen skin. And then, not only that, but that night, when I went to bed and woke up the next morning, my eyes were like matted shut because I had stuff in my eyes and then my eyes were bloodshot red. It took me a day and a half to get rid of that with clear eyes drops. Thank goodness I had those on hand. It was a mess. So I was like, oh, I really love it because it, it really does glide on smooth. And I'll, I'll do a little sample of that for you. So you can see how much, like I'm barely pressing on that pencil and that's how dark it is. And you can see you can do a thick or a thin line. If you can draw straight, that'd be better than what I did. But um, just, it's so black and so pretty and so smooth and it doesn't tug on your eyes. It's the same as the, the Tarte liner. It doesn't tug on your eyes and I love it and I can't use the Too Faced one. So, I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Please subscribe if you're not already. And let me know of any videos that you'd like to see in the future. Turtle Power, Cowabunga, see you next video.